oh, 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 won't you let me know, oh, 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 where to go, where to go. Welcome to part two of Aza Fontaine. We're going to be starting at Krutepost, an historic wine cellar. This old building must have some stories. Oh, definitely. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome morning. to Cruiser Ports. Hello, Hi. Peter. Hi. How are Peter. you? Great having you guys here. Welcome. Thank welcome. you. This is an incredibly interesting building. I was wondering, it's strange that the windows are so high up. Very keen that you asked. So this building was used in the VOC days as oh. an old fort to actually just um, protect them. And this was used as a halfway stop where people used to come and refresh and get new food and supplies. Hi Lucas, we're here in your wine cellar, which is one of my favorite places in the world to be. And I managed to steal this wine from the cellar in the back here because I thought this had a really interesting label. So Lucas, can you just tell me something about this wine? Yeah, this is actually very interesting. It's something new we're doing. This one is a selection of Shiraz Sinso from not only from the grapes on the farm but from in Darling. So it's a it's still a Darling feel to it. So a unique wine, and that's why we've got this unique um, label as well to, salt give, of the earth. to give you that earthiness. And salt is part of our uh, terroir um, because we are very close to the ocean and. And that's the reason why we also get that saltiness in our wines. And isn't this a great area for growing Shiraz? Isn't it very well known? It is, it's been, yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, the, uh, Shiraz works fantastic and Sauvignon Blanc is oh, so fantastic. good for this area. So this sea salter, that's your white wine? In yeah, the that's the white wine, that's the Sauvignon Blanc. It's got a little bit of Sauvignon with it. And, uh, but in a, in a dash of wood. You know? Oh, fabulous. Yeah, so, so just make nice it a little bit different. Cream. Just to make it a little bit different. Yeah, Lovely. creamy and stuff like that. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for your time. Today, we're in a wonderful center called Ikwaku. No, it's not. Ikwaku. Right, Ooh. exactly what she said. <laughs> I am Nuki Kadimo, was born in Namibia, grew up in South Africa in the Northern Lake Kimberley. And, and your people the, being? The Bushman people. Okay. Proudly. So, Bushman people are the people that used to live way back in the bush by hunting and gathering. They didn't own anything, live straight from the bush. So basically what you're saying is taking people around this museum gives them a bit of you know, the history, how things were done, how people lived and all of that. Yes, so this is the only training center in South Africa that empower the young Sun people. We are with Michael, the passion behind Kwasi. Not Kwatu, Kwatu. So, in a nutshell, tell me, what is it that brings people to Kwatu? Kwatu is a, is a very important destination. This is the only sand culture and heritage center in, in, in the world. It's your story. It's my story. It's, it's everybody's story. It's a very important story. And you could hear it from the first people of, of Southern Africa, the people who've lived here for 200,000 years have an amazing story to tell you. So here what they do as well is they do tea tastings, which is absolutely magnificent because all of these teas are harvested from all of the plants that you find around here and they all herbally yes. good for you. Yes. Apparently <laughs> these herbs have been growing here for millions of years. It mm. is. What it are they used for? Yes. What, the, what properties do they have? You know, this is a, a, a plant called cancer bush. Okay. Very good for immune system booster. Wow. Mm. From head to toe. Ah. All this, we take it, we combine it, we take a little bit of rooibos, which is also a medicinal plant. We add and we make a tea out of it. Voila. Voila, you speak French too. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes, I After our cultural experiences, we check into our accommodation for the night, Whale Cottage, which is on Azerfontaine's main beach. Yanni, this is a beautiful summer's day, but it's in winter. You have chosen years ago to come and hang out here. How has this all panned out? Why did you come here to Azerfontaine? What's the deal with summer versus winter? About 30 years ago, 
I stumbled upon Azerfontein and then I realized that uh, Azerfontein was at its best during the winter. You have very little wind, it's 10 degrees warmer than the city and you can see around you it's a desert so uh, and the sun winter. shines and here I am you know so yeah all dressed I... up for summer on a winter's day. Karan we have 16 miles 25 kilometers of beaches uninterrupted what is special about this beach it's the longest uninterrupted beach in the country Dion. Wow. Uh, we offer a special uh, west coast dinner the night before and a wine tasting and the next morning you're off with a guy getaway uh, calls at a, a level five uh, walk wow so, with all of this natural beauty pilo i'm gonna challenge you Woo! I'm going to challenge you to a 25 kilometer run. Going to Let's see who is going to be there first. Pilo, look over there. <laughs> so today I'm on horseback and I'm with Dominic who is a Springbok rider. Dominic, tell me what can I do on horseback? Yeah, in uh, Azerfontein. Yeah, well, you can come riding with us on Azerfontein 16 mile beach. And I also believe that we are in good hands because you are a Springbok rider. Yeah, so I've, yeah, I've competed overseas and everywhere in South Africa, so hopefully you'll be in good hands with me. Well, I believe I'm in good hands. <laughs> so, Fraki, so should we go for a ride? come and have a look at her house but actually we found out she was a chef and I think this is very interesting but what's also interesting is this gorgeous home so what what inspired you to open something like this oh, to everybody I else? arrived here 20 years ago put my feet in the sand went like this and said mm. I'm home <laughs> and um, yeah so we built the first house Pearl Bay and then a couple of years later built the second one White Sands and then we've built this one, which is the flagship. So we we host small conferences and you know intimate workshops, uh, retreats, and so on. And I also can do the cooking for them. So you get the essence of the West Coast in luxury. Okay, and everybody, breathe in deeply, deep breath in. Reach the sternum up towards the sky, and slowly exhale down towards the floor. Lengthen your body. Lift up into your chest. And sit down. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Everybody Ooh. hold that position. Sorry. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. What is your name? I'm Marianne. Hi, Marianne. And what are you doing there? Well, we're doing beach yoga. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. With a wonderful weather. And exactly. And we've got such air. beautiful beaches here that we need to utilize it. So everybody is welcome. It doesn't matter what age you are, whether you're male, female, child, 80 years old. <laughs> wow, well I can see you've got a nice mixture of young people here. <laughs> Absolutely. And you well, can and you can see that we're also wearing our locally made gear as well from Wild Heart. Oh fantastic. So I hate to interrupt your session. Sorry, you carry on doing what you do best. I'll get out of your You're way. You're welcome to join us. I will, and I believe you do it online. I'm going to look out Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Thank you Ciao. so much. Sorry to have interrupted. Okay. Carry on, carry on. So Steve and Marianne. I'm great. I, I'm so excited to be here because I see what I love. Everybody loves oysters. We all know about it. So, tell me a fun fact. Oh, shucks. Let's not make a spat about this. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> okay, Steve, give it to me. Well, yeah, um, a spat is actually a baby oyster. So, the let's get down to shucking those oysters. Oyster. Let's show you. Yes. Back the oyster, you put it in. Little twist. Cut the muscle off, cut the little spur inside. So we're at Rosmead Bakery here in Azerfontein. This is where you can have something to eat and also rent a surfboard. 
We are with Brett, the owner. Brett, tell me about yourself. So it's basically just a small bakery, good bread, good coffee and good pastries and then we do a few sandwiches and stuff on the side. Awesome, so yeah. grab and go. So today I'm here at Asa Brew, run by husband and wife Derek and Antoinette. Derek, I believe this was born out of a hobby. Tell me about it. Um, yes, well we started uh, Asa Brew um, almost two years ago now. Um, and I guess I was uh, making beer in my garage five years ago. Um, decided that we uh, wanted to take it a step further um, and started brewing more beer, got a license eventually, and opened up this place. So, Ali, I'm so excited to be at Strandcom Base. So, I'm a foodie, I love food. So I've heard about the legendary Friday evenings and that Sunday buffet. Tell me about it. It's amazing. We have the best time. We have live music. Um, our pizzas are served out of our pizza oven. We do up to 100 people. We have a strandcombe tw based twist on everything. Um, yeah, people come from miles for it. And then our Sunday buffet, we're famous for. Um, Kitty's calamari is the best calamari you'll have on the west coast. So what you're trying to tell me, this is a weekend destination. If you're coming out from Cape Town, this is where you can just kick out and relax. It's an hour out oh. of Cape Town, but it feels like we're a million miles away. A lot of people love their beachfront weddings. Um, and so we can sit up to 120 guests quite comfortably, have the ceremony up here with the most spectacular view. Awesome. It's the longest beach in, in South Africa. 16 miles. 16 miles. We've got the sand dunes, we've got the salt pan. It's just the most spectacular stop, uh, spot. Sunset happens right there. You don't have to turn your head left or right. It just happens right in front of you. I'm standing in front of Lombos 4x4 Feinbos game trail. So yeah, this is basically for you to come with your 4x4 and really just do a bit of bundu bashing. So this is the start and the trail takes us all the way up. There's a couple of notices, you know, hassle free. But this is a way to experience the West Coast with a bit more fun. Bonnie, we've driven in here. We definitely need a 4x4. Tell me about the game trails. The game trails, it's two hours long. Okay. While you're driving uh, uh, around, you can uh, take a look around and uh, see the game. We've got buffaloes, zebras, as well as the eland. Wow. The kudus as well. Wow, so, so that's quite a bit to take in. So lot. this is a place to come and do your game drive and of course get away from the city. So we've just come off the R27 and we found the Veskus Patstal and this is a fantastic place. We've just met Rico who's the yes, owner of the yes. Patstal and he's going to tell us a little bit more about what he does here because from what I can see the products are amazing. Yes, Kim, uh, as you saw inside, we are very much farm to table. We have our own greenhouse at the back and we try to use the produce that we produce in there on the table so that we serve fresh. it in the restaurant. So it's mm. very fresh. Obviously, we cannot do everything fresh, but we use most of our products and we put it on the restaurant table. So it's really a little bit of taste of your grandma's kitchen right here in the west coast. Oh, fantastic is yes. there any speciality that you're well known for we are really well known for our tribe to be really? quite honest my yeah. husband will be so excited to hear that yeah. that's one of his favorite dishes he can never find anywhere and don't try to get the recipes my grandmother's recipe <laughs> from where i am if i don't leave this place i know i just can't We've just had the most fabulous time in Azor Fontaine. Yes, you can enjoy it too. The hospitality, the activities, it's just a great place to be. So please, watch our video, like, share with all your friends and get them to subscribe. And we will show you next time where to go. Now for day. I love the road and I love the stars all. I'm going to challenge you to a run all the way to Anabad. Right at the same time.